So happy you could be with us. I am with Greg Anger, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group. A food and wine sommelier of the year. The group includes Church Key, Downstairs, Birch and Barley, that's on 14th near uh, Logan Circle, Owen's Ordinary up in uh, uh, North Bethesda, and then Shopmate DC in DuPont Circle. Greg, it is always good to see you. You too, bud. What is on tap this week? Oh, well, since we're recording here at the Sovereign, um, it would not be uh, a trip would not be complete here without some Cantillon, uh, one of the greatest breweries in the world, one of the most classic breweries in the world from Brussels in the Anderlecht uh, neighborhood. This is Cantillon, maker of spontaneously fermented Lambic, and today we're going to be tasting Rosé de Gambrinus, which is their raspberry Lambic, um, and one of their, I would, I guess I would call flagships, you know, they make the Goose, uh, the Oud Goose, and they make the Creek, uh, and the Rosé de Gambrinus tend to be the three that you see most often, so okay. definitely a big part of their portfolio. Rosé-like in color. Wow. Such a singular... Different beer experience, experience if you haven't so. if you haven't had this before. I'm lucky that I've had. I didn't mean you. No, but I mean, for me, I, I was just thinking like it. I am so lucky that I drink this as much. I, it's it's just one of the most amazing sensory experiences. Drinking true lambic from uh, Brussels and the surrounding Payotten land, which is the farm old farm region that surrounds Brussels. That's where. Lamb it comes from, it doesn't come from anywhere else. I mean, a lot of Americans are making great mixed fermentation beers, mm -hmm. um, great wild spontaneous beers even, but none of them are Lambic. And sadly, none of them taste like this. It, <laughs> it just doesn't. It, it doesn't. It, it, and is it, I don't, how do I say this without like scaring people away, but you, it's almost like you can taste the land, you can taste oh, yeah, the yeah, agriculture. Yeah. Is yeah, that totally. off? I mean, no, it no, doesn't no. taste it, like a farm. No, 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 but it has, has, it has, you know, like, it ha we say this with wine all the time, you know, like, certain wines have notes of petrol or gasoline. Like, it doesn't mean it tastes like gasoline, but it has a, some, that, that's a little something that's the only way you can describe it, but it's not quite that. So, with true uh, Lambic from, from Brussels and what Cantillon makes, this is traditionally made lambic that ages sits in oak barrels for a number of years typically the 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 base lambic for this is a around i think uh 18 months to 24 months so a year and a half to two years old it creates a blend jean venois who's the master blender and owner of cantillon creates a blend and then they age it 200 grams per liter on hungarian raspberries that they freeze uh, and they freeze those raspberries for two reasons. One is so that they have a, a stockpile for year round. They can make it all year rather than having to rely on fresh fruit. But also when you freeze, you break down the cell walls. So then when you steep the lambic in the fruit, you pull out the flavors and the color so much more effectively. Uh, you get more kind of bang for your buck there. So um, that's really um, what's, so, what's so special about it. And what the base lambic it has some of that earthy barnyard funky flavors. A lot, there's some great tannins from the oak. But the way that the fruit character, it just like flows effortlessly into the flavors of the Lambic. Um, it's just, on the one hand, it's super fruity, and on the other hand, it's not fruity at all. Yeah. Uh, you know, it is a bit, if you're not used to this type of beer, it is a bit of a slap in the face when you first try it. But your mouth, my mouth at least, gets used to it. Oh, yeah. So with every sip, it's sort of, it's more savory. Um, mm. And we're still going to do the beer of the week uh, Belgium tour sometime. With all proceeds For going sure. to me, <laughs> we got to find a cruise ship has to be involved. We will figure out the details <laughs> and let you know. What would you pair it with? So this beer, you know, some fun stuff that I paired this with recently is, um, and not just Cantillon and Rosé de Gambrinus, but any kind of raspberry lambic or, or framboise is what the, you know, you'll see it often called. Uh, it's really great with fried chicken. Yeah. Acid against that salt, brings in a pop of fruit. Really great with all that fatty goodness. Pulled pork. Amazing, because uh, this kind of acts like a North Carolina barbecue sauce and adds some fruit as well. Uh, duck, no duck of any kind, but also like uh, steak fajitas. Oh, yeah. Works really, really well. A little sear. Sear, the sear is incredible. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so this, oh, and another thing that's really great is if you just do like a simple grilled cheese, that fruit and the, the cheese in there, like I've done it with like a grilled cheese with brie, super gooey, or even like fontina or just plain old cheddar. Amazing how it interacts with that fruity acidity 
and the funk of the beer. Oh, I'm hungry now. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week. <laughs>